Hey, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be continuing to look at cloaking. Um, and this will probably be my last video for a little while looking at cloaking because I want to get through some of the other things. And my next video will be looking at uh, carriers and uh, a lot of the new weapons that we've seen and armor and shields. There's, a whole, there's about a dozen different weapons we need to look at. So I want to start moving to some of those and testing them out. Um, and, and working through them in future videos and then as cloaking matures and we get comments and feedback from people with different ideas I'll, I'll share them with you guys what I wanted to talk about a little bit though is a little bit about um, cloaking strategies battlefield tactics and a few commentators have um, or comments and you can read them yourself on a couple of my last two videos one of the comments uh, was in regards to positioning was with a cloaked fleet, perhaps positioning it in front would be better because in, when you're particularly dealing with missile uh, cruisers and uh, other missile ships, they tend to want to turn around and get away, right? So it's going to take them time to turn, a couple seconds or so, and try and increase that distance. So you fire your first volley off straight away. That may give you pressure seconds to get off a second volley of torpedoes before they get out of range, which could tip the tide of the battle. So that's something... Um, I can, I can test out in the future as well, and I'm just trying it out in this battle. Uh, what we're looking at today, we're going to be looking at more about uh, uh, versus battleships and some other bigger ships, uh, and some more standard designs. I'm not really looking at missiles so much. It'll be one ship designed with battleships and missiles, but it's not the matter. So we're just looking at standard designs you're going to see in PVE and just generic designs. They're not, they're not specialist designs by any means, and we'll, we'll, except for some carriers. I will have some carrier battleships here, which should be quite strong against frigates but I wanted to see how their battleships go early on versus uh, the frigates and just a bit more on the battlefield tactics if you're fighting an enemy uh, or you're, you're about to launch an enemy attack and this also came from uh, some other comments I made in my videos with cloaking you can use a lot of strategy and one of the comments that was made is uh, uh, gamers fight other gamers uh, but players fight uh, logistics basically or supplies and so imagine you build a fleet of uh, you know you might have it's easy enough uh, by the mid game to have four or five fleets of say 60 to 80 frigates in each fleet you know maybe more and they're cloaked so imagine fleets uh, maybe not quite as big as 120 uh, of frigates with torpedoes and you've got them cloaked and you've got uh, and positioned around key star systems in your enemy area where you know they may have uh, shipyards there or their key uh, choke points. Like let's say like this system here, there was, this was all an enemy enemy system. You know a lot of their trade is going to flow through this system. So we're taking that star base out. You disrupt their economy greatly in terms of trade value. And also, if you're if you're positioned your ships near key planets uh, and star base shipyards, it's a, a lot of a lot of players and even AI tends to build mostly shipyards and other infrastructure buildings on their core star bases not defenses so those star bases are quite well, while they might be large might be citadels their uh, firepower is not quite uh, large it might be five six seven k something like that so it's not very large so you can easily take out quite a number of shipyard facilities or even uh, naval capacity and things like that perhaps some cloaking detection may not be high enough to detect you yet but if you take out a key star base say here and they don't have any other star bases for three or four jumps, then you've at least eliminated the threat of any cloaking detection in the area. Plus, any ships that are being built at, at this star base or any armies getting built at the planet, and then they're trying to rally at a certain point, you've cut them off and you can eliminate them and destroy those ships basically as they're uh, getting built. So you can really disrupt that early war planning from your, your enemy and really stuff them up. And plus... We all know how bad it is when the AI gets four or five fleets behind your lines and they're running a mark while your main fleets are out trying to engage their their big fleets or go on the offensive or and then trying to chase down all those fleets is such a pain in the backside, particularly if they've taken out a number of your star bases. You can't build detection to detect them. So you don't know where their fleets are. They're cloaked and they could be moving. They could group together to ambush you. You know, you could even have a fleet like like bait you could have uh, a fleet of say battleships like this and then you could have two or three fleets of cloaked frigates or cruisers there that the enemy doesn't see they're coming in with a, a, a big fleet they think oh yeah 74k my 
my 150k will overwhelm that, no problem, we've got you. And then when the battle starts, <laughs> you've got three fleets of cruisers with torpedoes decloaking and just <laughs> annihilate the enemy, bang, you're dead. Right, there's things like that that you can, you can, there's so many different tactics you could probably think of and play around with cloaking. It's just mind boggling now. It's like, um, I don't know if you watch the movies with Star Trek and, and that we've got the decloaking Klingon ships and Romulan ships and just ambushing the, the enemy. So, and it's Starfleet or the Enterprise, things like that. So, yeah, I think it's um, very, there's yeah, so much we need to explore. And there's so much you'd be able to do in these games with uh, tactics and strategies. It's, um, yeah, really, really interesting. So anyway, that out of the way, let's get into some um, gameplay. And do send me some comments if you've got other ideas and things you want to share and um, um, how uh, you think you can play with cloaked on. It would be really interesting to see this in PvP, actually, see what sneaky tactics people get up to. Some of the really good players and you know, messing with people behind the lines, particularly if you could get cloaking early oof you get that early and uh oof, you can make a nightmare and if you haven't met the opposition much if you can have a cloaked cloaked ships having a cold war <laughs> you ambush an enemy fleet and have a cold war we've just annihilated you know like a, a fleet of corvettes coming in you've got some frigates of cloaked and they're trying to protect a certain system with they want to build a star base and get that system but you, you've got a cloaked fleet there you just annihilate you haven't even met the guy yet and it's like bang you're dead see you later all right, so for this fleet, we are trying um, frigates. We're going a bit larger fleet. Now, the reason I've picked 120 uh, frigates here is because that is uh, 34,000 and a bit alloys. And this fleet of battleships and one Titan is also 34,000 alloys, although it is 160 naval cap. So this fleet uses 40 more naval cap than this fleet, but I wanted to keep the alloys about the same because to make this 160 was taking up to about 45,000 alloys and that's just about 10,000 alloys different. We thought it was just too much. So we'll test it out like this first. This is just a standard battleship design that you might see from the AI. It's nothing fancy. It's not optimized to fight frigate. So it should get its, you know, it should be annihilated, I think. Uh, yeah, so focused arc, I mean, artillery, some missiles, a mix of shields and armor and just a mix of you know, auxiliary systems. Nothing fancy, artillery combat computers. So just imagine this fleet's just sitting here, building up. It's waiting to get orders to go to war with somebody somewhere. But you've got other designs and you're coming in to um, take this fleet out. So this fleet of frigates is a, a late game frigate. So just devastated torpedoes, level three disruptors. All your late game tech there. We're using torpedo combat computers, sapient. Level three cloaking and we're going all armor. So nothing fancy there. No commanders on either fleet. So we should do a lot of damage. I, I wanted to include a, a Titan, just so we can see what the battle's like with the Titan having the uh, aura, defensive aura, a bit of fire rate there. So it's got a mix of artillery and lasers and plasma. Just you know, I put this new ancient beam on there, so just to, to look better. So don't think it make much difference. And we'll be testing these out in the future as well. So let's have a look how this fight will progress. Not very slow for the start, so we see this go down. One of our stations is beset by enemies. You can see the torpedoes going in through the sun there. Okay, looks like the Titan copped it early. <laughs> look at the armor damage. Let's just have a look at the first. Oh, look at the damage they've taken already. So 33,000 got through the hull. Hardly any of uh, the uh, kinetic or missiles have gone through the hull yet. Look, 91,000 damage to armor. Now let's see if the battleships can get distance on these guys. Look at torpedoes going off. We've lost six frigates already. Probably a bunch have retreated. They do have one set of afterburners on here. That's the only problem is can the frigates catch them? Let's see, okay, they're splitting up a bit. Speed this up a little bit. They're chasing down a couple of individual ships. They are more spread out, so maybe with larger fleets, they do spread out more of the computers. 
That's interesting to note. When we had 80 ships, they tend to be bunched up more. You can see they are losing. Now they've lost so many ships, they'll be easy to hunt them down now. Okay. Uh, the last, the last we battleship. One of our fleets. Okay, so we've lost. What's that? Uh, Forty-five frigates, but we've so a bit over a third of our fleet we lost. But we've annihilated that battleship and Titan fleet, so we probably lost about what's that? Uh, Eleven thousand alloys worth of production, and they've lost thirty-four, thirty-five thousand. So that was a pretty good battle but that battleship fleet is just not, not optimized to fight a cloaked frigate fleet like that so you can see how effective cloak is if you can ambush the larger enemy fleets the only thing you will find of the ai and i should probably test this as well is they do like to put in um lots of screening ships so you may have a harder time versus the ai you may have to mix this up with um some destroyers and some cruisers to screen these guys while they do the damage, they can tank the enemy shots, but we might test that out. But I want to test out some various ship designs first and see how that works. So that's a good good battle for the, um, a good win for the uh, cloak. And okay, I'll uh, prepare the next battle. So for this fight, we've got a fleet of basically anti-armor weapons, lasers, plasma, whole mix. Uh, everything else is the same uh, except the computer. We've got line computer so we can stay within basically our weapons range and obliterate these frigates. We're not trying to run from these frigates. We want to wipe them out. Um, frigates are the same. No real changes. Everything the same. So we'll see how this fleet goes. It's 105 because there are about 30,000 allies to build this fleet. So I didn't want to have... You know, too much alloy advantage in numbers of ships to beat this fleet. So that's, they're both about the same cost effect. Although this is 120, uh, actually I think it's 160 size, and this is 105. I could try a battle where we have 160 and just see how you go. So we've got max fleet on fleet, but yeah, putting considerably more alloys into it though, that's the only thing. Let's just uh, get this done. All right, let's see how this goes. Opening volleys. Lasers firing. Pedos going in. We are losing a lot of frigates. Lost quite a lot already. They've lost their Titan. No battleships yet. Oof. Let's just stop it here, have a look at the damage. Dev Satsapitos are doing damage, we can see all those weapons. Medium plasma, large gamma, large plasma, medium gamma laser, yeah. They're just ripping us to shreds, as expected. The laser's got just that rapid fire and that uh, continuous fire, good tracking accuracy. You'll see it's just absolutely wrecking us. I lost two battleships. The fleet's practically dead. This battle's over pretty quick, we're only on slowest, there we go, we're dead. What are they firing at now? The last ship, is it? What are they firing at? Huh, that was a good little bug. Look at the explosion, boom, boom. All these dead, uh, dead frigates. They improved the explosions, have they? Huh, that looks quite good. I think so many dead ships. What's this out here? Dead battleship that hasn't died yet. Okay, <laughs> it just looked quite cool. All the explosions fly, it's like continuously going off. So all the ships are gone. Okay, so that was very effective if you're trying to counter cloaked fleets using close range weapons uh lasers and plasma very effective even on your larger ships mm, very good all right i might try that again but with 160 versus 160 in fleet capacity just to see if there's any difference so for this fight the only difference is we've got the same two fleets we had the last battle no changes except we've got 160 
versus 160 fleet capacity, basically. So we're at 160, and they're at 160. So although this fleet costs about 45,000 alloys versus 30,000, so this is 50% more expensive. See how much more damage we do, but that's about the biggest fleet you can get of frigates cloaked. So we'll see what happens here. One of our stations is beset by enemies. Titan's still alive for the moment. They are really trying to chase it down. So we've lost quite a few frigates already. Speed this up a little bit. And there's a few vivid battleships, fair few battleships retreat as well. Oh yeah, they just lost a heap. They've only got the the battleship left. So you can see the numbers when the fleet capacity is even, the frigates can really do well. But they've still lost a lot. Nearly half their fleet. And why aren't they chasing down that? I think it's bugged out. Yeah, the combat computer's bugged out. See that? They're just flying around. Not sure why they're doing that. Can we not? Let's just... Let's just retreat him. Just to get rid of the battle. So I think it was 88 that we lost. So, when you, when you got the larger fleet, it certainly makes that opening alpha strike really effective. So I guess that's what you need to take into account if you're going up against an enemy you know is stacking lots of armor weapons because when you fight, you're gonna, your shields are down, so you've only got your armor to rely on. So just keep that in mind. You saw when it was roughly even that, yeah, the frigates got annihilated when the numbers were not even when we stacked that extra, just an extra 40 frigates. So we went up basically so a third, a third of our original fleet size, 40. We had 120, so it was a third up. So 40 more ships, which made uh, a lot of difference. We just obliterated them, did a lot of damage early, and we had too many targets for them to fire, too many. The battleships didn't have enough weapons to target all of our ships and kill it quickly. <laughs> okay, so, yep. So there's a difference. That's a good learning learning outcome when you're fighting your wars uh, and, and tactics to use with frigates that sometimes you may need overwhelming numbers to obliterate them quickly. Otherwise, you could lose your whole fleet rather than them losing their whole fleet. All right, let's move on to the next one. So for this fight, we've still got our armor battleship and our Titan. No changes at all in this type of fleet. It's just the same mix. The frigates, however, are using our longer range neutron launchers, missiles, and they're using artillery combat computers to try and stay at range, use our long range weapons and just try and whittle down this battleship fleet as much as they can. Now, the problem here is, uh, oh, they haven't got X-Slot weapons, that's fine. So they have X-Slot. So the Titan does have the uh, the big beam there. But we don't have X-Slot weapons, so we've only got the artillery to worry about, which will uh, hurt us a little bit because it's just a lot of damage. Uh, but it's mostly against shields, and it's got to get through our armor first. So, and these ships got to close into range. We'll see how effective this fight is. One of our stations is beset by enemies. See if they get in the cloak, decloak, and then we'll see what happens. Heretic fleet engaged. There you go, we're engaging. Targeting the sun for some reason. There you go, volley's going away. Energy torps. They are trying to run away, which is good, but they are they're closing the distance, but we're doing a fair bit of damage. They're doing a lot of damage to us. Look at that. Boom. Just wrecking us. Wow. So that battle was over pretty quick. Now, I did have only nine, 90, 90 frigates because... That was roughly the cost of alloys, 30,000 each, because the energy torps are more expensive. So once again, you can just see the numbers uh, of frigates are not enough. We killed four battleships, that was it, and lost 90 frigates. Hmm, all right. So this fight, same fleets, same ships, no changes in their uh, design at all. The only thing that's changed is the numbers. We had 90, we got 160 this time. This fleet was about 56,000 alloys to build versus 30,000. So we're getting close to two to one alloys 
Now, although this is 160 fleet cap, the same as this, so there's no difference in the capacity, but numbers of ships, it's just a lot more expensive to build. So you'd expect that our frigate should win this. Maybe, we'll see. One of our stations is beset by enemies. It seems frigates need the overwhelming numbers, even when cloaked. Versus a, a fleet like this anyway. They like that sun. They're losing a bunch of frigates. But they're losing more. Oh, they lost a couple of battleships. Hull points going down now. We're down nearly 50. 60. Yeah, they're getting hammered now though. Each of those wave of energy torps coming in. Pretty much have had it. Yeah. So that was like the other battle. So once again, that's the overwhelming numbers can win it. So we could probably get by with less in between, but we've still lost nearly 70 frigates. So probably we're getting close to basically an even alloy exchange there. Not too far away from it anyway. So yeah. That's um, it's not, not as efficient as I thought it would be with the frigates uh, versus that. But those, the, the thing is, those battleships of anti armor they're optimized basically to fight the frigates because, or any ship that doesn't have shields because of all those armor anti armor weapons. All right, we'll move on to a different type of ship now. So for this fight, we've gone back to our uh, devastated torpedoes, close range fighting that we used in the first number of battles. And this time we have uh, carrier battleships, advanced strike craft, combination of missiles. We now we're starting to throw in some point defenses. We've got our own missiles there, and we're going focused arc committers, so we can obliterate those frigates in one shot. Uh, standard mix here. We're not trying to kite them around or anything at the moment. We've got the carrier combat computer. So really, the carriers would be more effective at longer range, but this is simulate an ambush from the frigates. Frigates are going to try and ambush this carrier fleet. No Titan this time, just pure battleships. And let's uh, let's see how this goes. Those focused arc emitters firing at the start. Now also I used the number of ships each because that was about uh, 30,000 alloys a cost each. See, they're really mixing it up here. They're like charging in. Let's, let's speed up a bit. Carriers are really spreading out everywhere, but this is uh, just a big jumbled mess at the moment. Haven't lost too many ships yet, and we're whittling down. You see the strike craft firing their lasers, killing their frigates. It uh, looks like another win there for the battleships or carriers. You can just see here that it just seems to be you need more numbers. So I think what I'm learning at the moment is that while frigates, cloaked frigates are very effective against some classes like the anti-armor and um, uh, anti-armor weapons and these these type of weapons because You've got a good mix of point defences here. You've got a good mix of uh, bypass weapons there, plus doing 50% damage to armour. So they're very effective against armour. And while well, these weapons aren't, this is a complete bypass weapon, goes straight to the hull. So against wet ships like that, it, it's just really difficult for the frigates to get through. You need more numbers. So I'm trying to keep it roughly even in alloys, but you'd have to go with more numbers. So to keep that in mind when you're going for your battles uh, in the more later games, you need greater numbers of frigates in, in your fights. Not uh, Well, I'm trying to simulate rough alloy costs, so it's balanced, but it doesn't appear to be balanced that way. So you'd probably need 140, 50 frigates at least so to, to beat that fleet, I think. It's all about that opening salvo. So, you know, opening shots of Devastator Torps, that first one or two shots, bang, be um, quite effective. All right, so I'll move on to another battle. I won't 
repeat this battle again with lots of frigates because you know the result. The 160 frigates will opening shots will most likely decimate that. But um, what I will do, I will do it the next next battle. The next battle we will do 160 versus 160. So for this fight we do have 160 frigates. Same frigates, devastated top ones, no changes to that. There is 160 of them, which cost about 45,000 alloys to build that fleet. Versus, now this carrier fleet is a little bit different. This is called super carrier battleship. Super carrier is this one because we've taken the X slot off. We put the extra hangar bay on. We've got extra two point defenses to complement that and we've got more missiles, more whirlwind missiles to go longer range. So we've doubled our point defense, increased our strike craft by one third and tripled our uh, whirlwind missiles. So we'll see how this fight goes. Should be very interesting. Oof, those three, four battleships opening salvo. That's how much difference having the numbers makes. See the missiles going in, the strike craft are trying to go in. Targeting one battleship, that's good. I like how the carriers are all splitting up, trying to run. A bit different to the last last battle where they all um it was a bit of a mess. This time it's not. They split up a bit more effectively. So I wonder if that's random or if it's just sometimes combat computer works and, it doesn't. and look how we're, we're, we're killing the sun. Was that the strike craft firing at the sun? That might be the strike craft. We just can't chase down these carriers in this battle again. They didn't change the carrier computers. It's just the front slot changed. It just seems because they've got the, uh, not the X slot weapons, they just seem to split up more. Hmm. Speed this up. I think we know the result of this already. Opening salvo was great. The sun's taken a beating. I'm not sure you'll kill it. Look at that, it really, really hammered the sun, so yeah, it's a retreated fleet. So we've seen that with the combat computers again, where they just, once you, um, and that was the carrier combat computers, wasn't wasn't artillery. Yeah, that no, was carrier. So I guess the carriers did a good job of getting their distance and doing what they're meant to do, and the frigates just weren't fast enough to chase them down. This is probably where, um, Cruisers may be more effective because you can at least put two afterburners in them and go after them with that. So I might give that a try for this next battle and just just to see the difference. Because late game you can use mass frigates or cruisers if you want if you want to go torpedoes. That is with your cloaking. Um, of course, you don't have to use torpedoes if you don't want to. But just going against battleships and other cruisers, torpedoes is just very efficient. So for this fight, uh, like I mentioned last battle, we've got our cruisers. Cruisers with the Devastator Torps and Disruptors, so same sort of layout, we have the frigates, we've got our cloak, we've got double afterburners to give us more speed, well that's at 50% speed at the moment, so we'll have significantly more speed, it'll be nearly 260, mostly armour, a little bit of shields there, uh, torpedo combat computers, pretty standard stuff, versus our same super carriers we had last game. So we'll see how the combat computers work this time if our, uh, what actually what's the speed? 197, yeah, so our cruisers will have significantly more speed than the battleships should do. So we should be able to chase them down and get them. Let's see, see, see if it works that way. One of our stations is beset by enemies. Missiles going, uh, uh, torpedoes going in, missiles firing, everything's going. Lost well, three carriers. We haven't lost any cruisers yet. Now, can we chase down these battleships or are they too fast? Oh, they're bouncing around again. Come on, chase them down. Nah. Really, guys? 
I thought the cruisers would be different. Well, why can't they catch the battleships? Your speed, yeah, now 261. This is 197, so you've got more speed. You can chase them down. Yeah, this has got to be fixed. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do a log with Paradox, I think, and send them links to my videos and say, listen, watch these battles. It's just not good. Now they've now they've managed to chase a few down. It's too late though. We've lost too many ships. Looks like they just get stuck in a logic loop. Elected, yeah. Okay. So that didn't work very good. Not with the um, short range weapons again. I'm going to give one more battle for this video and I'll try the longer range on the energy torps just to see if that makes much difference. So for this fight, we've got our longer range energy torps, missiles, artillery combat computers, all armor, some afterburners, our cloak. Versus our same super carrier design that we used last time. We keep getting beaten because of the combat computer just wants to dance around the sun and get obliterated. Let's see how this works. So I don't mind getting obliterated. I think the carriers and artillery are working good, splitting up and keeping distance. It's just that these, when you're using short range weapons, they should pick a, a target or a group of ships and go after them until they chase them down. If, uh, should, the computer should, they should calculate we've got greater speed than them we can close the distance and use our weapons doesn't seem to be doing that anyway let's look at this One see how this goes ah so the carriers engaged us at longer range of their strike craft before we could fire okay bugger. anyway we'll see how it goes They've lost three. Speed this up. Four. Seems to be a bit better. We're staying able to shoot them, so we've lost four now. Eight. Yeah, they've lost ten, eleven. How much damage have we done? Yeah, you can see they're doing considerably more damage in the strike craft getting through to the hull. What's the damage to the armor? Quite even, actually. Looks like we've got to win that one. So once again, it's the longer range weapons. The longer range weapons are just uh, more effective um, in some circumstances, in some of the battles. So it seems if you're rolling with the close range weapons, the Devastator Torps, you're taking a risk. It really depends what the enemy fleet's got. If they're not optimized for anti-armor weapons, if they're more shields and a mix of uh, weapons, then it works great. If they're missile ships, if they're strike craft, if they're optimized for anti-armor lasers and plasmas, you're pretty much dead unless you have overwhelming numbers against them. Um, or you opt for longer range weapons. We've seen that um, uh, even against the missile meta, that a strike craft are great. Uh, artillery is pretty good. Uh, a mix of long range torps and missiles is good, like we just played in this one. They're good against the missile ships, and we've seen um, against the missile meta, and we've seen cloaked fleets able to beat a variety of other ships using longer range weapons as well, but not so much with the with the shorter range weapons, it just depends if they're um, if they if they're playing those stronger ship metas that we've seen the strike craft, uh, the missile ships, the um, artillery and missile combination as well is pretty effective. The lasers and plasmas kinetic is pretty effective. If they're playing those, it's it's pretty hard to beat. So yeah, so I guess that's things to take away until they fix those combat computers because we've seen in, in a number of videos that even when I mix it up with fifty percent. Corvettes and frigates and 
Um, you know, the Corvettes sort of chase them a bit, but they get stuck in the loop and the frigates are bouncing around. They're just not going after, right, there's five ships out here. Let's get there, kill them. And then there's five of those ships. Then we can go over there and kill them once. So they're dishing out a lot of this firepower, but it doesn't work like that. So I might have to do a poster paradox and let them um, uh, hopefully fix it. So, hmm. All right. I think I'll leave the video here. If you're enjoying these videos, please hit the like button for me. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And notification button if you want to be notified when I make more videos. Because I'll keep these videos coming over the next uh, few weeks as much as time allows. So, uh, and we're rolling into other weapons now. I think I've done enough testing for cloaking for the moment. We'll roll into a whole series of other uh, other newer weapons and test them out thoroughly with the builds and against other metas and things and try and work out where we're going to sit. It's going to take quite a while to work out uh, the really strong ship designs of all these new additions because some of these things are, can really change things up. And I really want to, I really want to find something um, which counters uh, missiles um, effectively. Particularly, I know in the late game there is with the the carriers and things like that. Um, but I want something a bit earlier, which can counter it. So I've got to work that out yet still. Because missiles can be effective very early, even from year 30, 35. So. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.